Hey guys, I'm Chandni and you're watching Beyond the Sacks. In today's DIY, I'm going to start off with a fun challenge. I'm going to challenge my co-worker to pass this circular disc right here through this tiny square cut out in this paper. Do you think he can do it? And boy did he try everything. The circle is much bigger than the square. No matter what he tried, the circle just won't pass through. He even realized that the longest side of a square is the diagonal. And hence, he tried folding the paper, but that did not work either. Alright, let the pro handle it now. To understand the concept more visually, what if I have a same size 3D square? What if I hold these two corners and pinch the square like this? Look at that! The circle went right through. The reason why it went right through is because I have bent the square in such a way that the two adjacent sides of a square are forming a single long line. But do you think it is possible to do the exact same thing in the flat sheet of paper? It is possible if we bend, fold and manipulate this 2D sheet of paper in three dimensions. First, I am going to fold this paper in half. Then what I am going to do is lift the paper from both the sides like this till the point that the two sides of the square form a straight line. If you notice, the crease in the middle is lifting upwards like a mountain. Here, we have added another dimension, the height. Now simply fold this paper down and make a small folding adjustment like this. And that's it. Now the circle can pass through the small square. And we did this by taking the two-dimensional square, folding it and sending that fold into a third dimension. If you want to challenge your friends like me, all you have to do is first cut out or find a circular object and measure its diameter. Mine is 10.8 centimeters. Now if you remember, the diameter of the circle passes through two sides of the square put together. So this means two times the side of the square should be equal to the diameter of the circle. In my case, the side of the square would be 5.4 cm. Now what I needed to do is round off the side of the square to the nearest higher value, which in my case would be 5.5 cm. We do this so that the circle can pass through easily without having to wiggle through. Now fold the paper. Make the required square right in the middle of the sheet. Cut it out and that's it. Your experiment is ready. If you challenge your friends or you have any doubts as to how this happened, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next week.